am going to m choose another deck I could use. Let's see here. Um, let's use Area 51. Actually, Area 51 was really complicated. Uh, let's go for Area 51. Set as default. Okay, Area 51 was my default. Let's go over here. Uh, let's go with Mr. Milliran. Okay, here we go. You got another one. Another duel going on. The reason why I turned off the volume on this thing was because it would interfere and it had its own music and everything, and I like putting my own music because my music is better. I don't know. I just I just like listening to my own music, and also the music I have is a little bit more upbeat and everything. You know, I would I don't mind Yu-Gi-Oh, but uh, I think uh, let me put the volume. Yeah, there's no music. Never mind. You just hear that bring 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 noise, and it's kind of annoying. So yeah. Alright, so that was kind of an epic failure. I don't know if you guys know about the commanding coven uh, Covington. Uh, tell me what his effects really are. Alien Overlord. You can remove two A counters from anyone on the field to special summon this card from your hand. Okay, so any A counter. Once per turn, you can replace one A counter on each. Okay, uh, well, let's not read into that much. We have to figure. What the F is this? Reveal one fusion monster. Oh! In your extra deck and send from your main deck. Reveal one fusion monster in your extra deck and send from your main deck. To the graveyard, the fusion material monsters are listed on the fusion monster card. During your second standby phase, after this card's activation, special summon one of that fusion monster from your extra deck and target it with this card. When this card leaves the field, destroy the target. When the target is destroyed, destroy this card. Okay, so I gotta destroy that card. So, 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 equip only on a reptilian type monster. Once per turn, if the equipped monster would be destroyed by battle, it is not destroyed. The equipped monster gains 300 attack at the end of the damage step. And it's okay. Next shot. Come on, big bucks, no whammies. All right. Each time an A counter is removed from play, a card effect place one A counter on this card. When this card is destroyed, distribute A counters among the face-up monsters. Okay. That's f okay. If you're tributing a monster on your side of field that is owned by your opponent, this card could be normal summon with one tribute once per turn. You can. Okay. Great. I can't fucking do shit. All right. What is this? Activate only when a reptile monster you control is destroyed by battle. Your opponent's attacking monster is sent to the graveyard. It's destroyed by battle if your opponent's attacking monster and sends the reptile. Take control of the attacking monster and treat it as a reptile type monster. Ooh, alien brain. That's pretty cool. And so basically, I can't really do shit. Like, wow. Well, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna call his bluff and just like put a whole bunch of cards down, and make him think like, oh man, he has something good, and then end my turn. Um, if you think about it, this game is kind of like poker, you know, you gotta bluff, you know, sometimes you scare the opponent, you have to like strategize in a way. Alright, so on the second standby phase. Okay, good, he didn't count the other first standby phase as his first because it wasn't his first standby phase. That's good. I got a headache for some reason. Shit, I didn't even drink last night. What is this? Oh, uh, what the f Change all face down monsters on your. on the. Change all face down monsters on the field to face up defense position during the end phases turn. Change all face up light reptile monsters you control to face down defense position and draw one card for each. After then, you can special summon one level 7 hard light. Oh, that's pretty useful, but I don't have nothing on my fucking god side. So, what the fuck, dude? Nah, this is fucking useless. What? This deck was bogus. A little spin on my screen there for like getting upset here. This is bullshit. This looks pretty cool though. Alien Overlord. I am the Alien Overlord, and I oh fuck, I'm screwed. Nope. 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 Okay. He's probably gonna be scared. What I might have here. But. This is so corny. I lose 12 and then like another 1200, right? Oh, next turn. Alright, I got a little kitty cat here. Alien Alta Dog. When you normal summon an alien monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. When you do, place two bad. Alright, when you normal summon an alien monster, you can special summon this card. Okay, well, that's fucking useless to me. Holy shit. Is that a reptile? That's a reptile. It can equip only to a reptile monster once per turn. Okay, that's freaking useless. Each time an eight counter is removed from play. Nope. Uh, activate when a reptile monster. Oh, that could that could be really useful, but I have to make him attack. 
If you only have if you only have one original type monster in your graveyard, all monsters you control. Fuck, it has useless too. Change all face down. Change all face down monsters on the field to face up defense position during the end phases turn. Change all during the end phases turn. Change all face up light reptile monsters you control to face down defenses and drunk on range. After that, you can special summon one original monster from your deck. Light reptile monster. I, that could be pretty. Okay, that, that could be useful. Because how strong are these guys? They're not that strong, so. Nope. What the hell? 2200 for a. Oh, that is so corny as hell. How many sacrifices? At six. Oh, it's only one sacrifice. Oh, okay. That's not bad. Battle phase! Active element of reptile monster you control is destroyed by battle with your opponent's attacking monsters. Blip. Okay, and then I think I'm gonna activate. <sighs> Fuck. Whatever, man. Boom. Give me that card, baby. Activate only when your reptile monster you control is destroyed by battle if your opponent's attacking monster is sent to the graveyard. And it is treated as a reptile monster to grave. Wait, hold on. Oh, that's useless. So that means I lose 4,000. I lose... I lose 2,900. Wait, no. Do the math. Wait, 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 hold on. I need the math. I need a calculator. Do I lose? No, I don't lose. I'm barely alive. Oh no, I lose. Nine, 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 nine. <laughs> That's just, just destruction of lost life points. <laughs> yeah, I lost. So that 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 kind of sucks. All right, mid defeat. Yes, you lose. All right, let's get the hell out of here. That was that was freaking bogus. All right, let's try another one. Dino attack. Hmm. No. Uh, let's go. Let's go with old deck. I know you guys are like, oh, you always use the same deck, like I said before. Um, leave a comment in the comment section below telling me what deck you want me to use. Alright, and I'll make it. Sorry, I get like hiccups. Ugh, it doesn't want to come out. Ugh, never broke, you're always broke. Uh, let's go with Megiddo. 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 I selected Dago. Okay, he's. Let's go for Evo Sparks Golem. What are we. I don't know, these names are weird. Uh, let's go with Paper. Cause I'm white as paper. No, I'm not white as paper. I'm like, kind of like a tannish. All right, where are you gonna go? You gonna go first? You gonna go second? Oh, I go. I wait. I go first. No, he goes first. I go second. Oh, my ear hurts. Damn it. Oh, I go first. Oh, okay. So I use activate grateful charity. Draw one, two, and three. And then discard certain amount of cards in my hand to the graveyard. Okay, uh, let's see. What could be a useful card? Uh, let's send this bitch to the where is it? To the graveyard. Once per turn, banish two light monsters from your graveyard. Target one face on monster. Uh, actually, let's just get rid of this guy. I don't remember the strategy I used to use when I was a kid, so I don't know. Okay, set that card down, and we're just gonna put a man eater bug here. Set man eater bug, hell yeah! All right, so we're gonna end the turn here. This guy seems like he's know what he's doing because he has like a this dude and this deck seems really shiny. All right, so what he's gonna do? You attack me? You attack me? Battle phase. Flip. Destroy. Two grave. It destroy him though. It destroy. There we go. There, they, come on, it's Man Eater Bug. Everyone knows what Man Eater Bug does. It's like the ultimate creature of doom. All right, let's normal summon my little buddy here. Two-headed behemoth. 
and we go on battle phase, and he probably has like some magic or trap card, and I go attack directly, you lose... Oh, son of a bitch. Alright, whatever, I got Suzuki armor here targeted, okay, yeah, that's good. So, end my turn. Alright, buddy boy, let's see what you got! Let me show, show me what you got! Come on, I got Ablas Tormentor! That was pretty damn useless, I don't have three fucking cards. Three cards, three treatments, normal summon. This card, normal summon can be negated. Can't, cannot be negated, oh. Oh. Well, he can't activate any of these cards. What the fuck? If this, if this is the only card in your hand, you can special summon it. Okay, and what is... Add one element to hero monster from your deck to your hand. Oh, that's just bogus. You can draw. What the hell? Let me read this card, man. You, when this card is summoned, you can draw two cards. You must control no other cards and have no cards in your hand to activate the result of this effect. Activate. Bam, bitches! I lose no life points because Sasuke Ama. Oh, I love that card. That was like when I first got it. I was like, oh, everyone uses this card. It was so freaking useful. All right, so we gotta find out how to do strategy. We should—I don't know—we have to activate Dark Cole. You know why not? Destroy all the fucking cards in the freaking field, and then a normal summon my little creature of doom here. Go to battle phase, and then you attack. He has a fucking card. I know he has a fucking card. He has a fucking card. Well, should just show me the card. Just show me. Oh wow, he doesn't. Okay, and then there's. You cannot change. Okay, let's change the defense position to defense mode, and then end my shot. Oh, okay, there we go. Giant orc. Uh, it's from like Lord of the Rings, right there. It's like pff, straight from Lord of the Rings. All right, next turn. Uh, uh what is this? How does this card work? Uh, this card text is change the defense position at the end of the battle phase. You cannot change this band until the end of your next turn. So I can't really do jack shit with that card, so I'm just gonna leave it like that, and uh, I'm gonna end my turn, because I can't really do any- Ah, oh, I could've summoned him to summon blue eyes or something. But I really don't want to waste his effect, because his effect is really damn good. This card gains 200 tech for each face elemental monster you control. What the hell is this? Banish from your side of the field or your graveyard the fusion material monsters that are listed on the elemental hero fusion. Okay, so basically, what do we have here? Elemental Hero Heat and Hero Spark Man. Alright, so it has to be Heat and Spark Man. Oh, okay, must be Future Summon and cannot be Summon Summon. Other ways, if this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, draw one card. Activate Magical Hatch! And then I look in my deck for two non two cards for from deck or Okay, so view. I'll probably choose like the shitty ass motherfucking cards I have. Um, what, what would be? It'll be Dust Counter Blow and freaking. Um, you know what? I really don't know, like Horn of the Unicorn. I don't know why I have it in my fucking deck. So okay, and then I take him back to my hand. And then I'm just gonna set some random ass monsters. Just set him. Set blue eyes. I don't want him to know I have an uh, Egyptian god. Okay. Choose. Choose. Come on, don't attack my. F there we go. And it's so flip. Giant orc. You didn't attack him. So I survive to my hand to graveyard <laughs> to graveyard all right so those are the cards i choose all right so i had to do that and I drew, so I'm going to set Wabaku. And then I'm going to set this bad boy down. Oh, I could have actually... Oh, I should have looked at smart trap cards so I can use... Oh, why didn't I think of that? Oh, so stupid of me. All right, so now I could... Oh, I could put him in attack mode, but it's kind of useless. Oh, wait, no, that's good. To attack, because then he automatically goes to defense position. So, 
I really have no worries here. And I attack his defense monster. Oh, what the hell is this? When a monster you control is destroyed by battle, is sent to the graveyard, special someone in level 4 elemental hero from your from your hand or deck. Wow, elemental hero is really corny. Okay, then I guess I switched into defense mode. <laughs> If this card special summon, you can add one change quick play spell card from your deck to your hand. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add one hero monster. Wow, this is really. Target one face up hero monster you control, send it to the graveyard and special summon. Okay, whatever, man. Okay, and my turn. I'm gonna have to activate this. I can't let this. I can't let these guys lose. Activate Wabaku. All right. So take no battle damage from your opponent's monsters. Turn your monsters cannot be destroyed by this battle turn. So basically, it's kind of like it just doesn't. It's a negate attack if you think about it. All right. So. I have an option here of either summon Blue Eyes White Dragon or wait and summon this guy. But most likely he will be able to destroy my monsters. So, uh, but he has probably has something there. Oh, I know it. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip summon him. Go to my deck. We're gonna get Sasuke armor. Actually, no, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get Sasuke armor actually. Two hand. All right, and then I'm gonna normal summon him. To grave and to grave and then set one card down go to battle phase you know what to do little buddy for 2,000 life points mm, I know you had something target one face up hero monster you control and send it to the grave and special summon one mass hero from the extra deck with the same attribute Okay, um, all you did wasn't really anything. I could just attack again. It doesn't negate the attack. All you do is you sacrifice your monster, which... Alright, and then you lose 600 life points. Okay, what the fuck was the point of that? Any card sent to your opponent's grave banished is banished as any card sent to your opponent. Okay, that was... Okay, that was... Pretty ingenious, but okay. Um, and then I end my turn. That was that's weird. I don't, I don't. I guess because you don't want to lose two thousand life points, but okay. Just, just attack me, motherfucker! Just attack me! Just attack, attack! There we go. See, blue eyes, man. Baby blue eyes, right there. Baby blue eyes. I'm gonna call him that for now on. Baby blue eyes. Next turn. Ah, creature swap. Hmm. And you card sent to the graveyard. Oh, I could do creature swap. Well, how does this work? Each player chooses one monster they control. Okay. So I could just normal summon him and then activate creature swap and change control. You now you get him. <laughs> oh, it's it's mind boggling. <laughs> Okay, so when this creature is a normal monster while face up on the field or in the graveyard, the creature, okay, it's normal. It's face up on the field, you can normal summon it to have to become an effect monster with this effect. While this card is face up on the field, you can normal summon it to have it become an effect monster. Okay, so I'm gonna flip summon this bad boy. Go to battle phase, and, and this is this is the smart thing to do. I'm gonna have him attack this little dude. Why you might ask? So blue eyes can attack him and eliminate him. So you lose the life points, lose lose 1,800 life points, and then attack him. Bada bing, bada boom. Now she wrote. Question is creature swap really a one-time effect because it doesn't really say return the card after the end of the turn uh, That's what people don't understand 
Unless there's like an unspoken rule to this card that people are like, No, you must give me back my card! Because I, I really don't think you have to. Sweet mother lord, I got two Egyptian gods and I can't do jack shit with them. Alright, so what's this is? Um, we're gonna first attack with this little guy because I don't want to lose my blue eyes just yet. So if he's gonna activate effect or not. Aha! Discard one card, fusion one summon monster from your extra deck using monsters from either side of the field as fusion materials. What? Cards and effects cannot be activated in response to this card. Wait, discard one card, fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from either side of the field as fusion materials. I won! I won! Yes! Yes! Because I have blue eyes and I don't think he has a fusion monster for blue eyes and elemental hero Neo's alias. So, haha, -ha, I win! Sweet mother of Lord, I won! Hey guys, Bomb Prime is here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more Yu-Gi-Oh! Dueling Network episodes, press the link in the top left corner right there. That will take you to another Yu-Gi-Oh! episode where I get my ass handed to me by a whole bunch of little kids on this website. And don't forget to press like and leave a comment in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Palm Prime Zero, if you want to see more videos I've done of other games in the past and in the future. And for those Mass Effect fans out there, click the link in the bottom right corner right there. That will take you to a video of me playing Mass Effect 3 the multiplayer. And don't forget to subscribe there too if you want to keep updated on Mass Effect videos. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. This is Palm Primus. Keep it crunchy and peace out.